Morning guys, and welcome back to the channel. So yet again, we're doing another one of these videos. So this is a 68 plate, 2018 VW Amarok. It's only done 55,000 miles. It's been sold by a local main dealer and it's got another one of these cursed Discover Medias in there. Now, if you've got a vehicle, a VW, that's got one of these and there were thousands of them, chances are if it hasn't failed, it's gonna fail. And the biggest problem with these is the touchscreen. So whoever made this for VW didn't put enough time and effort into it as they did with the previous model, which is the R&S 510 and the 315. Yes, they are completely different beasts because the technology in here was much better. And that's why so many people uh, have uh, DIY'd and upgraded these um, to their vehicles. The problem is they're unreliable. So this has come to us um, and yes, it's got the navigation built in uh, through SD card maps. Yes, it's probably got App Connect for Apple CarPlay and a few other features, FM, DAB, uh, Bluetooth. But apart from that, the only thing you can do with this now is chuck it in the, in the bin because it's of no use to anybody. So what we've done for this main dealer is we have removed all of it and fitted the Alpine Halo 9. So that's the nine inch. You can also go for the um, Halo 11, which is the 11 inch. It's a non-nav, but a digital media receiver, which basically means that you can use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for all of your mapping features. And that's the modern way these days. So put this out uh, the way and we have integrated, or the boys have integrated with the factory parking sensors the factory reversing camera, the factory FM and DAB antenna, the factory steering wheel, and most importantly, the USB retention underneath the lower cubby hole, which means that for all intents and purposes, you've got everything as it was before. You've just got a really nice, clean, crisp nine inch HD panel for your um, smartphone to be connected to. So join me inside and uh, we'll show you how it works. Now, if you don't want or fancy the, what they call the floating dash, then you don't have to go for the Halo 9 or the Halo 11. So the Halo 9, nine inch, Halo 11 is the 11 inch. Now, you can go for the ILX 705. Now the 705 is basically a seven inch in dash system, and that would probably uh, and accurately match what we took out uh, in terms of the VW Discover Media and sit all in the dashboard and look as smooth as it was before. But we live in a modern age where people want bigger screens. This screen can avoid any kind of sun glare because you've got the adjustment of the screen to do as you wish. And also you've got tall, short, other types of drivers so you know you might be further forward in the seat or want the, the actual screen to be more facing up like so not a big deal it just means that the halo 9 and 11 can suit uh, different types of needs now I've just put the ignition on um, again I, I say this every time we don't want to bore you with the same stuff FM uh, we've got uh, FM and DAB both of those um, are connected to the existing VW Amarok um, antennas from factory. Um, because this vehicle came with the Discover Media, we've also integrated and utilized the existing factory GPS antenna. We've reintegrating through the steering wheel controls as well. And more importantly, pop it into reverse. We've got the reversing camera. We don't have any control over this. This is the factory reversing camera. We've just intercepted the video um, line and connected up to the Alpine. We've also talking data to the parking sensors. So we've got our number plates on at the moment. So that's picking up the um, rear number plate, but that is a comfort feature. And I'm sure on the camera, you might be able to see this parking button as well, because as soon as I press that, 
it then pops it back to the um, main radio display. So you've got volume control on your steering wheel, you've got track and station search as well, and potentially, let's just have a quick look, um, it, see if mute works, because they don't always work on these things. No, so, so you've got volume, um, sometimes on these models, depending on software, it'll either mute or attenuate, um, and that drops the volume down. Um, apart from that, um, nothing much happens in the instrument cluster. Uh, you get some very basic features, but if you'd had navigation in here before, you would have had turn by turn or arrow instructions on there. You won't, because this is not a navigation unit. It only uses Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which is an app. So let's more importantly go to um, the Apple CarPlay. Here's my iPhone here. It's connected, but wirelessly. Um, this particular model has wireless Apple CarPlay, but wired Android Auto um, for ease of use and just because it's, um, it's, it's more reliable that way. So you've got instant access to your dashboard. We can then scroll through to your, all your apps that you've had before, um, digital radio, settings, WhatsApp, Google Maps, uh, Waze, and whatever you wanna do. You can go straight into Google Maps and select your digital maps. And suddenly, the new owner of this vehicle is transformed is going into uh, a beautiful new setup so he's got a really well loaded vehicle in here it's got loads of mod cons actually you've got your climate control your folding mirrors um, and I think to be honest having that discover media out and this halo 9 in yep no brainer so this is a 68 plate VW Amarok 2018 with only 55,000 on the clock but the factory head unit has failed if you've got a problem like that don't waste money trying to get it repaired or, or the touchscreen replaced because you could be in the same boat three months or six months later um, and, and have rec no recourse for getting it sorted. You're better off investing your hard-earned money into a much more modern uh, system like this that's state-of-the-art. You've got an HD panel as well, which makes it um, you know really crisp and clean. Um, this is the ILX F905. Don't forget to follow us on social media and um, get in touch with us via the contact form on our website uh, and then I can um, ask for some pictures and other such stuff and we can give you a quotation for one of these three, the seven inch, the nine inch and the 11 inch to be fitted in your VW to give you as much seamless integration as we possibly can. And um, yeah, website's in the bio and thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.